Hey everyone, it's Charlie with FPP Shorts. Sorry, it's been a while since I've done a video uh, bringing it into my life a little bit. I've I switched jobs and I've been having to put a lot of time in at the new job to kind of get up to speed with everything I need to know. But also, yeah, just kind of lost time with family. I got two little kids and they're growing up, spending a lot of time with them, really enjoying it. But I really want to get back into doing some FPP videos and to kind of kickstart that where I'm going to get a little more raw than production, just more ad hoc stuff. And I figured this might be a good one. It kind of relates a little bit, but also just something that I want to keep for my memory. So if I have to do this again in the future, I have a video showing me how to do it. But I picked some of these up on Amazon Prime Days or Sewn Off Minis. And these are super nice. They're little power relays, essentially, that work off a switch. They're Wi-Fi. They're ESP-based, essentially. But they work off 120 volt. And kind of the reason I feel like this fits in the Christmas light hobby is uh, you can put them inside of a controller box. And if you want to be able to turn them on or off, or turn your controller on or off, these things will handle 10 amps. So... I mean, plan accordingly for how much power draw you're going to be using in the controller box. But essentially, you have your line in, your line out, your line in, your load, and then neutral. It needs neutral so it can power on all the time. And then these little gray, these little gray ones, they go out to a switch. And the switch could be a light switch or whatever. Uh, you don't even have to use it. So the nice thing, what I like about these is... They can run off MQTT uh, through Tasmoda. If you've ever heard of Tasmoda, um, if you run some like Home Assistant or some home automation app that uses MQTT, these are lovely. They're super cheap. They're about, I think, 10 bucks a pop any given day. Uh, usually you can get a five pack of them or a four pack of them for right around 50 bucks. Uh, on Prime Days, they were in the low 40s. So I picked a couple up. Um, and I, I run home assistant, so I kind of run them throughout my house, but out of the box, they come with this Ewe link app that you need to use. I'm not a huge fan of using a bunch of different apps. So I try to get as much things in a home assistant as I can. And what I do with these is right when I take them out of the box is I flash Tasmoda onto them. It's super easy to do. And I just kind of wanted to show a video on how to do it and kind of for my memory down the line if I need to watch this again, even though I hate watching myself. But uh, yeah, I'm going to show how to flash these. these are, it's pretty simple. Kind of one of the things that you do need to do is you need a computer and a cell phone. That's the hardware requirements. And what you're going to do is essentially power them up, which I have one powered here. And you need to create a hotspot on your cell phone. Essentially what it's doing is it's creating a like firmware update or over the air firmware update to it. And we're just creating that, uh, we're pretty much spoofing it, if you will, into thinking that it's getting a firmware update and we're rewriting whole different firmware while we do it. So you don't even need to open these up. It's super simple. Uh, that's why I like them. So, let's show you how to do it. Okay, so I got my Sonoff Mini. It's connected to mains voltage, so this is one of those things. Be very careful with what you're doing. If you aren't comfortable with 120 volt, don't play with it. <sighs> Call an electrician or, I don't know, some, everyone's got a neighbor that's a drunk electrician or something. You can find one. So, I have the tools here. I'll put a link for them in the comments of the video. At some point, might not have them right away, but uh, sometimes I can be slow at that. But so on your phone, you're going to want to create a hotspot, and that hotspot is going to be sewn off DIY. And there's a specific password that you got to put in as well. But so get that created. You'll also need to get a tool off of GitHub, it is the IT sewn off devices DIY tools releases. I'll have a link for that in the description and then I find starting with Tasmoda 851 light uh, GZ uh, 
with these sewn offs, they do run into uh, constraints with how big of a firmware fire file you can have. So let's get going on this and I'll kind of walk you through it. So you're going to want to hold down the button for five seconds. The blue light will start flashing continuously. Oh, that's not continuous. Sometimes you have to do it twice. But it'll do like a one, two, three, pause, one, two, three, pause. But once it starts going beep, 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 like that. That's what we want. So now that's going to put out a access point. Let's get lined back up here. And the access point should be it something. There it is. We're going to connect passwords one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Super secure. I'll let that connect. And essentially, you need to put in the Sonoff DIY access point and the password. And once you're connected to that, to the IT access point, you're going to want to go to 10.10.7.1. And you're going to be greeted with this page. You could even do this with like a single cell phone, probably, if, but you just can't get the tool on it. So you could do this part on your cell phone. Sun off capital DIY. And password. I'm going to paste that in. Go to save. And now it's going to save there. And so I already have the tool open. Essentially, when you get it and open it, extract it, you can get it one with a log, one without. The one without works for me. The one with log just does not seem to work for me for some reason. But let's open this baby up. And we're going to want to make sure that our laptop is connected to that Sonoff DIY network that is the hotspot on the phone. And so the tool found the device. So the device already connected to my hotspot. The tool found it. We're going to select it here. The ID of it. Doesn't really say what it is. but uh, Or the name, if you will. And then we're going to go over to where it says Brush Machine. Click on that, we're going to go find our firmware file. I'm going to do 8.5 light. And the light firmware essentially is just kind of a minimal firmware. Do not use the minimal firmware and uh, use the light only because the minimal will not put out an access point, I believe. It's like super minimal and the only way you're going to change that is by actually hardwiring to it. You might be able to do an OTA update on it, but I don't know. Uh, what I know of Tasmoda is always use the light firmware when firmware upgrading. And then we're going to click OK. Or actually, sorry, flash device list. Make sure that it's selected. Even though it shows it, it doesn't always select it. Select it. And we're going to hit OK. And we should see the progress bar start ticking here. And there she goes. So once this loads completely, it'll give us a prompt saying, hey, it's safe to close this window now. The device is restarting. Don't cut power. I usually give it a good like two minutes before I cut power on it. Usually what I'll do is I'll make sure that it's pushing out a Tasmo to access point. So here's that little warning. So yeah, I thought I'd show this. Um, they're nice little devices to have. Uh, I have them throughout my house behind light switches and stuff to make them smart and still use a traditional switch. But the other thing you can do with them too is on like a momentary switch is you can do, uh, you can have it send different commands 
on momentary presses and it can even send different MQTT commands. So essentially you could take one of these little Sonoff minis and you can make a box out of it that's 120 volt. It can talk directly to FPP because FPP has an MQT has an MQTT client built in. Just as long as you have an MQTT broker in your house, which can be done on a Raspberry Pi, but uh, Home Assistant has an add-on for the Mosquito Broker, MQTT Broker, that you can have a button outside your house, have someone like four press it, and there's ways with Tasmoda that you can have that do certain things, and essentially, therefore, Falcon Player can do certain things, because this can talk directly to Falcon Player, so you could set up some MQTT commands that way. And yeah, it works pretty nice. So maybe this helps someone, maybe it's a waste of time, but uh, good to see you guys again. And sorry it's been so long. Hopefully I'll start doing some more videos here, especially the Falcon players updated quite a bit since my last one. So thanks everyone, have a great day.